Let's see. You want me to start recording now? You do your thing, bro. All right, all right. So, yo, 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 what's going on, people? What's going on? It's your main man, everything by John. I'm right back at you, episode three of the podcast, man. Um, I know I came out of nowhere with it, but like I said, I want to create this platform for, for uh, you know, ambitious people, hustlers from all walks of life and talk about business and everything they're into and inspiration. So this is episode three. Um, I've been getting real good feedback from the other two episodes, man. Appreciate that. And right now, I got my main man, Jamari, in the house, man. This guy right here. <laughs> That's my guy. Yeah. So, um... <clears throat> He's going to talk about, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, everything from where he grew up, you know, my usual format, um, real estate and other aspirations. So, first of all, Jamari, say what up to the people, man. Say what up to the people. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? I know it's just it's tough times, but, you know, people like John keeping keeping an optimistic mind and keeping things focused on is really important. So, um, I'm I'm just, just maintaining, man. Just, uh, just maintaining. I hope everybody else is. I hope we could do some informative uh, stuff out there. And um and just build. So when this thing starts to make sense again, we can apply that information. Um and just just say we learned something new, man. But um, let's. I'm looking forward to it, bro. I'm really looking forward to it because in a in a place for the first time when the world stops and you don't really have much of an outlet, um, it's really good to get a remembrance of like how things were. So I, I appreciate you, bro, and doing this. I think it's 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 really dope. It's creative and um, yeah, man. I'm ready. I'm ready to build. Man, 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 I appreciate that. I appreciate that. No words, no words, man. This guy, his articulation is crazy. If you already know, you about to get to know him. You about to get to know him, man. So, uh, man, my guy, Jamari. So, yo, matter of fact, let's start it off with, uh, um, you know, tell the people out there, man, like, where you grew up, like, where you from and where you grew up, man. And how old okay. are you, matter of fact, too? Um, so, I'm 29. Um, I'm 29, and um, I'm from New York City. I grew up uh, in a in, in mix between Harlem, the Bronx, and Jersey. Um, mm. But I spent most of my time uh, in in the, in the Bronx. When I say in the Bronx, my pops right over on Jackson Avenue. We grew up right <laughs> over on that way. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm in New York City, the tri-state area, my whole life. Um, mm. And then I branched off a little bit, went to school in in Maine. I went to school in Buffalo. Um, mm. But I always found my way back to the city, man. Always, mm. always. Okay. okay. Excellent, excellent. So how is it out there in Jersey right now, man? Honestly, Jersey is a different type of piece. So I grew up in a, um, I, I had a, a dope opportunity to live in a town called Franklin Lakes where my grandparents, where they uh, own this house and they've been, you know, they've been here since I was like three years old. And it's, mm. it's a different, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a refresher right now, man. It's quiet. It's, it's you know, it's, it's just clean air. It's not mm. the, uh, it doesn't feel like I'm quarantined right now. It just feels mm. like by choice, I just have like peace that, um, mm. That's definitely necessary. So Jersey, Jersey's not, it's not like the city right now. It's definitely not like mm. the city. It's a different feel, but um, it's mm-hmm. necessary, man. Definitely necessary. Man, I hear about people moving to Jersey all the time and I'm, I'm looking at Jersey all the time, like to move out there to somewhere, like you said, to you know really find yourself and just be at peace with yourself and your sure. family and all of that other stuff, man. Like a lot of yeah. people from New York, they move out to Jersey and all these other places because there's it's traffic every day here. It's like, it's just so much, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of monotony. Is that New York City is a great city, but you know, when you talk about your self peace and your 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 cleansing and all that spiritual stuff, which is just as important as everything else that we want in life, mm. the money, the, the, the traveling, all of that mm. nice stuff, all of that stuff is cool, but that spiritual stuff is important. You want to be able to come mm. home and lay your head in peace sometimes. And as we get older, you realize like that's that's the the motor that keeps you going, man. Especially mm. when you're mm-hmm. kids involved, you know, when kids get involved, you know. It's, it's 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 not your turn anymore. You know, it's somebody else's turn. It's somebody else's piece. And um, you know, Jersey is the place if you're not trying to go too far from the city. So I agree with you on that one, man. Man, that's dope, man. I mean, the way you sound, you made me want to go just move out there right now. This guy right here, you gotta come. You gotta come out here. You gotta come come nah. chill, chill out here, yeah. man. Nah, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely right. come through. I'm gonna definitely. I'm on Zillow almost every day, man. Looking at you know properties, like everything is better in Jersey. The property, the prices. The yeah. environment, everything. It's like, and it's right next door. Right next door. It's right next door. Man. It's it's but people. It's a, it's a little safe haven. Yeah, but you know that's a, that's the thing about it. It's a safe haven right next door. But people, they just so stuck in their ways. They don't even want to move out their borough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. What do you think it's that's crazy. about? But I, I I feel like I've always felt like New York has a certain convenience. Like if you live in the boroughs, you like if you work in a city or like if you work 
you can jump on the train, you know, like you can, you can do so many things that's convenient, but then when you have shit like that's happening now where, you know, there's like an epidemic happening, or even if it's not just that extreme, if it's just anything, because New York can be crazy sometimes, you yeah. kind of get reminded that like, I don't, you know, that convenience is not worth it all the time. Right. But um, right, right, right. it's a part of growth though. Everybody is different shows with different folks. So yeah, for sure, oh, definitely, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Man. Well, man, listen, man, well, you know, well, I mean, it is true, you know, New Jersey is next door. And, you know, you said some very good points as to like, you know, when it comes to life and business and, and just everything in general, man, you know, sometimes you just have to step back, you know, because I, I, I feel like a lot of people don't understand what you said until it gets to a point where it's like you have no other choice. And the choice you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people, they get quarantined. Like, you know, we Ben should have been looking in the mirror and saying, what can I do and how can I find my peace right. instead of something like a disaster happening and you say, right. oh, man, I don't know what I'm going to do with my business. I don't know what I'm going to do with my family and life in general. Like, we have to already ingrain that in ourselves. Man. Yeah, that's that's the truth. I think I, I think that's the hardest thing, especially for our people, because we don't have there's no there's no um home base for peace for us, you know, like we have we just in it, you know what I'm saying? So it takes for the media to blast like, yo, this is happening, this is happening, for them to physically take stuff away from us for us to have the time to say, you know what, I can't worry about my bills. I can't worry about having to go to work. I can't do that. We don't have we don't have that luxury, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's it, but you make a good point where you say you have to find that. <clears throat> you have to, because all this other stuff is not real. It just got taken away from us. Now everybody's yeah, exactly. sitting, they sitting yeah. with them, them, them issues, you know what I mean? You know, right. those issues that's, right. that's, that's just there. So I think, um, I, you know, I think you have to read, you know, you gotta, you gotta communicate, you gotta, you gotta talk to people that are in lanes that are on your, like on a, just a positive path, man. It's mm-hmm. not always, it's not always about money. It's just always about just yeah. progression. Even if you add in like a new word to your voc- vocab, or even if you add in like just a new talk friend, to like it's talk just, to it's important. Talk to that, stuff important. that stuff is important, yeah. man. And exactly. Quarantine, when they take all of that shit away and you realize, man, that you gotta have some stuff for yourself. And that's a lot of my, my, my clients. I tell them now, I'm like, look, you're, you're a real estate investor. Cool. That that's just like amazing. That's a great. It's a great thing to have when things work. <clears throat> but now you're in an even better situation when stuff like this happened because now you're in control of your shit. You know what I'm saying? Now you can focus on everything we just talked about. That peace. That everything else because the bills, the money, all of that stuff is checked off, man. But it, it starts with just your approach. It starts with your approach, bro. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Man, and, and that's that's exactly actually what I just touched on a previous uh, video I just recorded. Just the fact that you know things that well actually the the the, the theme of my video was things we can do in our twenties, okay, um, to to better ourselves and you know financially and just in general. And you just touched upon one of the main points, which is basically if you do what you have to do now, you won't have to worry about too much about you know later on in life, like in your thirties and your forties and things like that. So, real you know, talk. like I said, we have to ingrain these things in ourselves, man. And that's real estate. Real t- yeah, that's that's real talk. And real estate real is one of those things. So speaking of real estate and speaking of investing, man. So, um, you know, after after school and and moving around just a little bit, and um, you know, just your your, your mentality growing up. And it sounds like you had a, a really rich childhood and everything like that. Mm-hmm. What kind of led you into you know real estate? You know, what what kind of led you into even thinking about getting into you know jumping into the game? So, and, um, and how old were you and everything like that too? I always so I want to say I so I started out when I graduated college I wanted to go to law school so mm, I was okay. so I was working at like real estate law firms you know like mm. I I always knew that real estate was going to be the, like that's where the money was you know but I was looking at it from a completely different angle I was looking at it from the legal aspect so I was I was doing like I was working foreclosures I was um I was uh doing short sales I was doing like a lot okay. of different okay. things for the law school but then I had um. I had a, a a good friend of mine. Uh, he was like, "Look, um, you're good with numbers. You know, you have you have. Uh, I just had a natural knack for certain things when it came to numbers that I just accredited the man upstairs. Like I, you know, that's just something that came along with just my my being. So I'm not taking credit for that at all. One of my boys peeped it and was like, "Look, I'm starting. Um, you know, he's opened up his own bank. Like he had like a private bank." You know, and so then I was looking at real estate from a whole different angle as an originator, as a loan originator and lender. So, which is what I do now. So I went from working the, the straight, you know, 
the monotonous side of the legals, you know, aspect, not really touching the properties, not really knowing what, what values were on appraisals, not really knowing anything about the financial side of real estate to somebody saying like, look, you have the potential, you have a, a clientele, you have a network and you, and you can make a lot of money in, in this industry. So I went and I started originating, um, I want to say like four years ago, like four, four, five years ago. And so it's just been, I've been there ever since, man. And now I, I kind of work, I work independently now. So I originate, yeah, I originate all my stuff and, and do things individually. I don't, um, up until I was working for somebody um, this past December. And then I just kind of was like, you know, I could do this on my own. And, 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 and you know, to segue, to segue, just, just real quick sidebar. Before yeah, I go ahead, go ahead. So I'm, a, I'm an originator, right? So people think they see my Instagram and they see like Hard Money Pro and they think um, that I'm in this stratosphere that's unattainable. It's just not, you know, it's just, it's just really um, right now with the market that's happening right now, if you ever wanted to be an originator, if you ever wanted to um, be on the lending side of things, get your NMLS license because everything is on pause right now. But when it comes back, the real estate is always the first industry to boom back. So if you have, if you want to get into real estate and you don't know where to start, trust me right now, study for your NMLS. So when you get out and everybody's ready to dish out and buy and refi and do all that stuff, you're right in the forefront. Those are going to be the millionaires. It's going to be the new millionaires when this thing um, trans was open. So, but, but for me, I started off in, uh, the legal side of real estate, worked my way into the financial, um, part of it. So now I'm actually a consultant and a partner at JMRE Capital. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I mean, look at that. First of all, well, I mean, you, you just, you just unpacked a lot, but first of all, yeah. congratulations, congratulations to this beautiful black brother right here that's Thank doing you. it. He went from you. I mean, you heard the hustle from a completely different industry a completely different aspiration all the way to real estate in terms of where he's at now. And now he's a partner in his own firm, man. I mean, this dude right here, it's like, and he just said it himself. If, if it seems unattainable, that's not the case, man. I mean, yeah. look at him. And why can't you do it? Why can't you do it? Yeah. I mean, it, it's that simple. It's that simple. But also, man, I mean, you started from real estate law. I mean, that's a whole completely different lens, like you just said. Aspect. But but let me ask you this though, at this point right here, or at any time really, or really like recently, did you ever think like, man, what if I would have took the, the 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 law the law angle all the way, and now I'm a real estate I'm a lawyer in the real estate field. Right, right, right. Um, about that? It's something that I don't think about as often these days because okay, because what I do now I really get to connect with people. Like I really I really get to connect with people like. It's, it, you know, I get to, I get to actually, people affect my lives and I affect their lives because anybody, if I go to an event, let's say I want to like sum up some business, I want to like go vendor at an event. Um, that's, if I was to do that for a month straight, I could look at the back end of it and say, you know what, I'm good on business for, for the next month or two maybe, right? But as where law, being a lawyer is, you're kind of set in to a system where you can't bend or break anything like you're not you know you you can you can be a great people's person all you want you know you can it can work for you it may you know maybe if you're doing contracts you're doing like account executive work that's cool but where the angle i was going to man i would have been in the office somewhere um pushing papers mm. and you know and um I'm, i don't regret it nowadays at all at all i promised my grandmother i was going to finish law school so if anybody if anything if i'm getting pressure from anybody uh it's from her to, 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 to kind of do that one day. But man, I have no regrets, bro. I have wow, no regrets. Man. And I really, I really, really advise like a lot of the young brothers and sisters out there, man, even you, bro, like this, this is you, this is perfect, perfect time to join in and, um, and, and really, and really, really become your own businessman. And it's not, a, it's, 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 re <laughs> it's, it's real, man. It's, it's, it's real, man. I don't regret it at all. At all, bro. At all. <laughs> man, I love it. I love it. Well, listen, yeah. man. Well, you know what? I was going to actually segue into what you just said again, which okay. was you, you, you touched on something very, very key for a lot of people watching right now. A lot of people, you know, with the quarantine and even before the quarantine, a lot of people switching households, a lot of people trying to figure it out, even within the real estate game. And, you know, for the past, well, you know, I mean, all this, this whole time, you know, we could all say that being an agent 
it's like the glitz and the glamour, right? Yeah. Being an agent is like, wow, you know, they, they watch a million dollar listen, and they're like, oh my God, I want to be an agent, I want to get licensed. And that's why, you know, these uh, real estate schools are just packed every day, packed with people going in, packed with people graduating. But now, now you say right now that for all the people inspiring to get into the game of real estate, you saying to get your to 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 get your NMLS number, yeah. Instead instead of being an agent, I want you I want you to I want you to kind of break down why, like because you know, like I said, there's tons of people right now that want to become an agent. They see the commissions, they see the the suit and tie, they see that they want that lifestyle. They want to show these luxury houses. Kind of break it down to the people why. Hey, listen, let's get on this other side. Let's get on this other side and really look at that. So. So the, the, the being an agent is just still just as honorable and it's still just as glitz and glimmer and it's still just as lucrative as it's always been. But I want people to understand that, let's say if you're a real estate agent and you have, you'll say you close 20 deals in a month, right? Every single one of those deals, somebody went to a lender to get their money. Every, like every single one. So what I'm saying is why not be the agent and the lender? Why not get your, NMLS so you can get, so look, you're getting your commission up front from buying a house and then you know what, you know what you say, you know what, well, hey, look, if you're an investor, if you're fixing and flipping the house, look, I got, I got hard money. If you're looking, if you're, if you're looking for your personal, it's your personal home, shit, here's a mortgage, conventional mortgage. Those are all things that are part of your job anyway as a real estate agent. It's already so old what I would do if you're a real estate agent, build a rapport with an, a lender, an originator where you could say, look, every one of my deals, I'm coming to you and I want a broker point. All banks have broker referral fees and, and programs. So as a real estate agent, you could be making two monies <laughs> on every single one of your deals. Exactly. exactly. So it's just, that, and people will always need the bank. The banks yeah. are shut down right now, and every no one can do anything. Right, 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 no. right. And no, and nobody's paying cash for anything, man. And no, that's been the case. you know, if you're yeah. smart, if you're an investor, like you, you want to put this these titles to your name, you're always gonna need financing, and no matter what, always. nobody's buying cars all cash. Nobody's buying houses all cash. Nobody buy business all cash. Like what you just said, financing is the name of the game, and yeah. you saying to get in the game and the financing part as in, in real estate. So, so, so what if somebody came into the game and said, you know what, I don't, maybe I don't want to be an agent. Maybe I don't want the glitz and glamour. Maybe I no. want to be behind the scenes or I can work remotely from home or I could just, you know, I could make, I can make it happen without showing houses, without, you know, uh, uh, you know, back and forth with the client right. in terms of, you know, commission and, 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 and negotiating my money for me. Right. Yeah. And then at yeah. the same time, a lot of people say, well, you know what, at the same time in that same space, if I show you 20 houses, if I show you 100 houses in a month or 20 houses in a month and it comes back that you're not even pre-approved for what you thought or I'm wasting my time or you went to another agent or you're just not even ready, you're wasting my time, what am I left with? What yeah. am I left with? So Frustration. So frustration, right? Yeah. So, so how would you tell somebody who, who sees that already before even jumping in the game and say, you know what? I want to join real estate, but I don't really want to be an agent. I don't want to deal with all that. How can I become a loan originator? How can I become the next Jamari? How can I become, how can I learn, you know, or, or really just start at the basic level on that side of the game? Um, the first thing you need to do is jump right on like the local job portal, whether it's Indeed or whether it's whatever you use, whatever it is that you're looking for jobs, it's as simple as type in loan originator and see, see if it's something that you like. Because you're going to see that you're behind the scenes. You, have, you, you know, your, your, your smarts are appreciated. Your people skills are appreciated. And you get freedom. So you get, you get, you get your base salary. So you know what I'm saying? You go and you look. Don't pay attention to the base salaries. Actually, don't even look at the numbers. Don't look at the numbers. Go in there and look at the job requirements. You'll get to travel. You'll get to, um, you'll get to go to events throughout the city. Depending on what bank you end up working for. The city, right. nationally, right. all those things. Look at what the... What jobs are requiring you of you to do then at that point if you say okay this is what i want to do try to get an internship try to get an internship somewhere because a hard money originator you don't need a license you don't need a license you don't need a license if you wanted to originate hard money what you need is just 
a good bank to work for. You need a good bank with good processes and, and that's actually gonna have money on hand so that you can do your projects. Now, if you wanna do your NMLS, which I'm studying for right now, you, you find, a, find a site, I'm using CompuCrim. I pay like a buck 50 um, and I'm studying right now and, and just, just look it over, look it over, you got nothing but time. And um, hey, Jay. Yep. Am I, let me, let me make sure I grab, let me grab my charger real quick, bro. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but, yeah, go ahead, take your time. Um, but yeah, so I would just go and look at those, look at those jobs, look at those originated jobs, look at what is required of you and see, mm -hmm. okay, if this is something you like to do, start, start applying to those jobs. Start applying, mm -hmm. even if you don't have any experience, just, 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 just call them, say, look, I'm willing, I'm a people person, um, I'm good with numbers. I'm good with all that. You know, all that. All the hold on for a second. Yeah, I, had to, I, I had to actually charge my joint too. I wanted to make yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. And the thing is, my yeah, phone is yeah. at that point where if it gets to twenty percent, you could best oh, believe it. Oh man, my phone too. I just you see, I I literally just did. It. I'm like twenty three percent. Oh nah, I mean, <laughs> that's it. I'm not you playing. Yeah, going. yeah, that's it. Time to panic. Yep, yep. But, yeah, take your time. But um, let me see if it's charging. Okay, cool. All right, cool. But yeah, man, I would just, I would, I would literally start looking at those, the job advertisements, look to see if it's something that you feel like you would be effective in, especially if you're already in real estate a little bit. Like if you're already like this, you read it, and you see like being an agent is not your thing, a good bank is going to give you good leads. They're going to give you like events to go to, you know, you could even independently start paying for, 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 um, to be vendors at real estate events at like mm -hmm. big events. And, um, and, and in that way you start building the clientele. Cause all you got to do, you figure if you know how to talk to people, all you got to do is put yourself in a room with the right people. Cause you're going to, you're going to figure out, you're going to figure out what's what. So if you, if you, if you're like a people person, um, if you put yourself in a room full of investors, those investors are going to need money for their projects eventually. Yeah. And if they take a liking to you, you, you gain, that's how you gain business. Mm -hmm. That's how you gain business. So it's really just a matter of looking up the jobs. If you like the details, just throw yourself right in there. You don't even have to work for a bank. If you literally start going to events or if you start building your Instagram to connect with people that are investors, you find a bank that you can have a partnership with, that you can broker your deals too. So that, that way you work independently, you know what I'm saying? You work with your own schedule. You do all the things that you still like to do, but you make money. And you still get to work on real estate. Mm, mm, mm. That's, deep. Yeah. that's deep right there. And, you know, that's, that's a real important part that you just said because I feel like on, you know, on, a real estate, on, on, a, on the Asian side as well, but I think more of when you get into the entrepreneurship side, when you get into the, the, where's, the where's the money originating from? Like when you talk about the word loan originator, yeah. this is where the money is actually coming from, where it's right. sourced. A lot of people don't really right. understand. Like they don't it's understand deep. like really how deep it is, right? Yeah. So if you're in that part of the game and you have these relationships, and like you said, you don't even have to start off with a big bank, these retail yeah. banks. I mean, like if you start off from the bottom with that mindset like you have right now and you build these relationships, how is it gonna be when you're ready to invest? How is yeah. it gonna be when you know some of these investors that you actually source some money for and right. you can partner up on them? You have their number in your phone? Easily now, now, oh, so now you start getting into the space when you start building relationships with these people. They're like, "Yo, John, yo, you cool? Like, you know, what I mean, coming like, you want to throw in some some money here, and you just get everything on the back end. Like, it happens. Like, I like my my clients. I got this young cat, man. If he ever sees this uh, interview, shout out to Quan, man. He's a young guy. I'm um, he has he. How old are you? I'm 26. So he's he's about your age. I mean, maybe he's in between your age and my age. He owns a uh, a clothing store in Brooklyn, mm, like a nice, sneaker store, nice. right? Yeah, yeah. What's it? What's the name of it? You know the name of it? Uh, he, I'm gonna get back to you on that one. I'm gonna get back to you on 
know, I forget the name of it, but it's it's right on um it's right in downtown Brooklyn. So he came to me, you know, and I and I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in. So now he's coming to me like a lender, and I'm like, dude, you know, and this is just a person. so I can do it. You know, you know, what I'm saying. So I'm not. That's a little different from the originator side, but that's just how shit aligns. Like if you're an originator, you're gonna meet the Laquans of the world who are look just like you, and they can't walk into a conventional bank as a black man and, and feel comfortable enough to have a conversation with like, he'll call me and be like, what's going on? I'm like, dude, your, your deal is not looking good right now. Or like, you know, it's looking, I won't duck and dodge him. Like how a lot of these, uh, a lot of banks will once they start saying they can't make any money. Um, so Talk about it, Talk about it, it please. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, Yo, just, it's, just, it's just real, man. It's, 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 it's nothing special about anything that I've ever done, man. I'm, 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 I feel like I'm just getting started. All I did was I found out about Elaine. I found out about the industry. And as a hustler, I said, you know what? I can do it if I apply myself. And that's and and that's literally all it is. It sounds scary. I was I was intimidated when I first walked into my the bank I was working for. You had dudes that was making money, originated making money. You know what I mean? A lot of money. And I was like, damn, like I'll never get that. Like I don't even come from that world like well, none of my friends are investors none of my friends exactly. i've worked in real estate exactly. firms but this is a whole different beast right. i started going to car auctions do you remember when you used to call me and i used exactly. to be like, yeah 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 exactly yeah. exactly uh, <laughs> yo I used, to, I used to go to the car auction every tuesday in Jersey. i didn't get one deal from mm -hmm. i met people that were investors yeah. that led to like, oh, my friend's doing this, my friend's doing that. So it ha it just happens, bro. Right, Nip right, right, exactly. Nipsey, I'm a big Nipsey fan. So Nipsey yeah, was so yeah, yeah. all about the, your energy, your, your whatever you, you want to be a car salesman, start chilling around people that buy cars. Exactly. You know what I mean? Start chilling. It's, exactly. Whatever it is, it's, 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 it's obtainable, bro. Yeah. It's and obtainable. you know, I, I keep, you keep saying the same beautiful thing. And it's like, you just reminded me of like, in my last episode, when I talked to my boy, Edward Jarvis, and we okay. kind of in the same field of business funding, like I told you before, and that's how we kind of linked up. Um, you just said literally, and that was, that was my path in the business funding, because you know, like you said, as a hustler, you know, looking for looking for anything, you know, your, your next path. That's just naturally who we are. I found out about you know the whole uh, really just business financing. Um, so I got into the game, but I I found out that instead of pushing paper, like you just said in an mm -hmm. office where it's like a boiler room type of environment, I could start my own ISO. I could start my own like company. And that's right. exactly what I did from the beginning though. Beautiful. You know so actually, yeah. So, you know, like you just said, you touched on something. I mean, this is, this is what we talked about in the last episode. Like people like your man, Kwan, you your regular everyday hustler, your regular everyday businessman, your regular everyday person that wants to start a company with, you know, with, with, with whatever they have, right. they need financing. They go to that bank that they bank with, they getting, you know, not a response that they want or not any response. They need all this paperwork. They need an 800, 850 credit score. They need all this income. And then they just, they just drop, they just drop. They just quit yeah. or they just, you know, just find another way or they, they just give up. But, yeah. when, but they don't realize they come to people like us that we have so less stringent um, yeah. um, qualifications and requirements and you in the real estate. That's why, we, you know, that's why I reached out to you or we reached yeah. out to each other because these are the type of people that I need to work with. I don't need to work with the retail banks like that. I need right. to work with people that can make it happen for the people. That's you see real. what I'm saying? So you on, the, real. you on the real estate side, I'm on the business side, and that's how I find that path. And my that's first, uh, it's, it's so funny, because my first deal I closed as a, um, on the business finance side, okay. it, was a, um, it was this lady who was a, a assistant principal, and she had a partner, and she was like, man, I'm pushing like 60. I'm trying to retire soon. I need some type of income coming in. I want to start my business. And I was looking at the trucking industry. Okay. And I'm like, okay. So she said, yeah, she went to, um, you know, her big bank. And I'm not going to say where the big bank it is. But right, right, right. She, <laughs> they might be watching. Them, and they might be watching. And we <laughs> might be, you know, we might be partners with them one day real soon anyway. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so she was looking for money. And keep in mind, she was already banked with them for so many years. They asked for so many, so much paperwork. She didn't have a fresh LLC. She had a fresh LLC. She didn't have any experience. Yeah. She didn't have an 850s credit score. She was just looking at it like, wow, like I've been banking with y'all forever, and this is, what, this is this is what I'm getting crazy. right now, it's right? Crazy, so, but she she came to me, and I got her 150k. Look at that, bro. You see Look what at I'm that, bro. Look and, at and, that, bro. And, 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 and guess what? And guess what? She's she's on her way 
and I'm trying to start my chugging company. Shit, man. <laughs> yeah, how crazy circle. is that? That's the coming circle. full circle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy, you know, she, she, that's crazy. Yeah, she had better qualifications than me because, you know, she's been on a job 25 years. And yeah, yeah, She yeah, got, you know, really good credit and all that stuff. So she, <laughs> she, she good off the money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for yeah. me, it's hard for anybody with me right now. But, you Listen, know, I'm trying to hustle off off for anything. But, yeah. We under 35. So, and when you under 35, ain't nothing going to be, ain't nothing really going to yeah. be pristine, bro. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. But, but, you know, it's, it's crazy because, the, you you know, seeing her go through what she's going through, I'm pretty sure it made you sit and think and be like, you know what, well, this is what I need to, this is what I need to strive and fix for, this is what I need to, like, it, I'm sure it did something, because cause that, yeah. cause, cause that, that's a lot of money in that, in that, in that industry, oh, yeah. but Ooh. like you said, it costs, it costs to, it costs to, to dive in, bro, but that's funny, that's funny, that's funny how that works, though. <laughs> As you said, yeah, that was your first is. deal? That was my first deal. Yeah, yeah, that's my first is that, deal. Is that what ultimately made you say like the trucking industry is what I is what I need to like it's, like it's so it's so ironic because I was already planning on the industry a little bit before that already. Like that's oh, why I say it's so ironic because I was I was like trying to figure it out. Like, you know, well actually I was before like really thinking about making a move, I was really just learning about the industry, like learning okay. about trucks, learning about, you know, how to dive in. And then that's when um I was, uh, and it's crazy because this this all was happening like last year around this time actually. Like this okay. is when I actually got, um, cause you know a little bit of background, and I talked about it in my, my first episode of the podcast. But I started off as an agent myself, like a real estate agent. Okay. Um, you know, I started off on fire, and then I just yeah, I just caught like I caught a drought. I'm talking about like Lil Wayne drought, like mixtape. <laughs> I'm talking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm talking about yeah. when I say drought, I'm talking, about, and that's why you know that's why that's how I figured out. Um, even more, I realized even more how much of a of a, a a hustler or or how how much I can endure me personally because yeah. a lot of people can't even go one month without making money. I went like I'm talking about like six months without making money. Yeah. So yeah. when I when I when I like go through stuff like that, like it killed me. You know what I'm saying it killed my pockets, credit card yeah. debt, all of that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, hold on, I'm like I'm I'm still here though. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really still here. I'm still here. Like I'm still yeah. here. Like and I and I, I started closing a little bit more deals after, but I'm like, man, like it didn't it didn't all the way. Like I was not all the way in the graveyard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, yeah. I I still felt like you know I'm still here. So that's what kind of made me. Like, you know what? Yeah, I, I, exactly. Resilient, and that's what made me feel like you know what? I could really go in any almost any industry and really kind of stick it out, man. But oh, like I said, sure. it's, it's not for it's not for everybody, man. Because I, I tell people all the time. If you look at my path in, in 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 life, or really just like after a certain point, and you see what I did, a lot of people would be like, "Nah, I'd rather just get a nine to five. I'd rather just do yeah. it. It's not, it's not I, easy. I tell, it's not easy at all. And I tell them for those reasons, congratulations. You know, do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't want anybody to really go what I went through. You know what I'm saying? And I tell people all the time, but you know, it's it's to each his own at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody have a different experience. Not for everybody. It's not for everybody. Yeah. You you gonna have so I think the biggest thing is blocking out the noise. You gotta block out the noise. So the noise are things that really don't don't <coughs> don't like they physically can't harm you. You know what I'm saying? So like if you not making money for a couple of months, who who if you're able to maintain your life, you know, if you're able to wake up in the morning and still go hustle, what, what is there to panic about? You know, like you've been on the winning side. You've been on the winning side. It's just a matter of <coughs> you got to happen. You got to, it, it happens eventually. But if you say, hey, fuck it, like I give up, you might be an hour away from getting an influx of calls, an influx of just messages or, or whatever it is, man. So it's just, you got to have resilience. And this resilience also has a lot to do with knowing that this is exactly what you want to do, though. You know what I mean? When we, when you know that it's exactly what you want to do, you you know you could take a couple of hits to the face, a couple of hits to the pocket, and, and be like, you know what? Like you said, I'm still here. Yeah, so yeah. there's layers that's to it, I, though. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. There's definitely layers and levels, and that's why even something with the trucking industry, I'm like, man, listen. Like right now, for example, I'm looking for finance. <laughs> I'm looking for finance, and I was gonna go equipment financing and all that, but you know they have you know uh, requirements and stuff like that. They need history in business or a CDL or this or that. So for me fresh into the industry, fresh into a business. You know, I just started my LLC too, JD Lupe Assets. For somebody like me, and like you said, under 35, you know what I mean? All that, but I have good credit, but at the same time, there's so many things going against me. Yeah. A lot of people, again, they would at that point be like, you know, like, listen, I'm looking for a job. I look for something else. But for me, yeah. go, like at this point, after everything I've already been through, 
I'm already looking at any industry like, yo, what's what's the uh, what's the profit margins? Like, what's what's the good out of this? Because if yeah. I can, if I see I can achieve it, I'm gonna go through the fire. I'm gonna go. It, I'm gonna yeah. jump in. I'm gonna yeah. jump in. Cause yeah. I know, for example, like if it costs a certain amount of money to get into into this industry, for example, if I know I'm gonna start making this amount right away, then why not? Why, why not? Why not? You know, why not? Because if you if you lose, you know, exactly. Yeah. Why not? If you lose, then yeah. you lose. It is what it is. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah, no, but you know what it is. You know, people are scared of that. I don't know why. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I, so man, when I. When I when I started working when I'm working when I was working at a my first originator position, I was working I was I forget the name of the company, but I, I was working somewhere and it was a pretty good job and I just left, yo. I was just like, you know, I believe in this next phase, you know, and even if I if it doesn't work out, I could always go back to this normal nine to five shit if you want. The nine to five shit ain't going anywhere. So you might right. as well take a couple of chances on yourself and know that you right, can exactly. always go back to yeah. the nine to five. Like, right. That's what you want to do. But you got to right. bet on yourself. If you don't bet on yourself, you're going to end up being a grumpy person with, with a bunch of like coulda, shoulda, woulda. Yeah. You got to, if you don't fail, then, then if you don't have a couple of failures in your life and your story, then that means you ain't never going to succeed. Mm, that's so deep right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so deep. That's so deep. They don't understand it. Like I said in the beginning, you know, people stuck in their ways. It, you know, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. So, you know, it is what like it you is, said, man. Like you said, it's not easy and it's not built for everybody. It's not for everybody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, oh, man, I mean, wow, wow, wow. So, and also... At this point, man, you know, you, 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 you're you going for, you know, you're already a partner in a firm, mm -hmm. in your own firm, in your own uh, company. Um, you're going for your NMLS. So what's, what's, what other aspirations do you have or, or what are your goals at this point, um, you know, moving forward? So my, um, I've been doing some reading and um, on government originated right so there, there's um the, the government hands out uh like what you do small a lot of small business loans they have a lot of um it's a lot of money and it's a lot of knowledge and it's a lot of like security in doing government originating process and all of that stuff so i think for me right now is trying to get into the into the to that arena I, I have to get into that arena because now you're talking about multi-million dollar commercial spaces. You're talking about um, being a part of a machine that doesn't break. Like if, you know, if you work for the government right now, no matter what it is that you do, with all this quarantine stuff going on, you best believe your check is going to come in. You best believe that you're going to have a job when this stuff figures over. So for me, um, a part of studying for my NMLS is getting into government um, federal government bank originating. So that's like something that I'm, I'm locked in on right now, man. And some stuff kind of working in place um, that I'm praying on, but that's where my goal is right now, man. Wow, wow. I mean, that sounds like, that sounds like some Obama type. Yeah, you, know you just made a bomb on us, man. Like, hey, I mean, you, matter of I mean, fact, matter of fact, not to cut you off, bro. I'm gonna yeah, send you yeah, a yeah. link. I'm gonna send you a link okay. and you should definitely share with people. The federal okay. government is hiring right now, whether you have experience or not. They're looking for a couple thousand um, processors to process these small. So this stimulus package coming out um, that the government yep. is giving yep. out. Of, they're not talking about it for whatever reason, but this couple of weeks is going to be a lot of money given to these small businesses, yes. like right, a lot, right, a lot right. of money. And they need to nurture those relationships and account executives. So. I'm gonna send you that link, bro. And it's definitely something you should probably look into too. But your followers and, and, and your and your people that, that check in with you, they would appreciate it. They would appreciate yeah. it. No, definitely, definitely. You know, it's so funny because well, I mean I'm already gonna put all your all your links below that you want me to put so people could contact you, people could um, you know, work with you in the real estate industry and just just in general. And I actually seen yesterday a video where, yeah, I seen that that um that ten thousand uh, dollar business grant for uh for businesses, right? And yep. you just apply. And a lot of it's like a five minute application. Yep. And people is getting these checks. They get it. No, they getting the they checks. They getting them. They getting the check. The government they have to do that. The government is gonna be quick to cut these businesses' checks because at the end of the day, these businesses are gonna pay them, they're gonna make money and they're gonna right, pay the we, we, 
Exactly. A lot of people yeah. don't understand that at a basic level. And when you say the word deep, it's like people don't really like when you just look at just an economical standpoint, like at the at the basic level, like we are the people that run the economy. Like, like people, like people, they see the word government and they be like, oh man, you know, it's like they, they see these people in suits on TV and it's like, okay, well, yeah. that's a whole separate entity. They don't understand, like, they live off of us. Yeah. The yeah. stock economy and all these other things is because of us. It's us. It's us. Like, so when you see people, like, when you see the government, you know, and, and that's how so crazy, like, when you say, like, when you say, man, that you, you want to get in on the federal side, on, on the government side, in terms of, in terms of securing loans, in terms of yeah. money, it's like people, like people, and that's what they don't even know it exists. But, but, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. But, but people, they don't really take the time to really think. They don't really, they don't go that deep with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like when you say, like, because I'm, because when you said the first thing, the first time, the, the first, when you just said, you just mentioned government and, and the money coming in, the yeah. first thing I thought about in the, in the truck industry, just as one industry, in the truck industry, People is getting money from government contracts. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So how, so how do they get to that point? You have to, you have to dig. You gotta stay you active. Know? You gotta stay active. You, know you gotta stay active. So, so people, so I look at like this, yo. If you find, let's say, yo, you start selling I mean, business deals, and you get people that have funding to start their businesses, and they all flourish, right? In that moment the natural human thing to do is to be like, oh, I'm good. Like, you know what I mean? I got some bread coming in. I'm going to kick back. And I'm, a, um, you know, I'm like, I'm good. Like, I, you know, I could breathe. I could go out. I maybe could buy, buy this, buy that, buy my girl something. You know what I mean? Like, that's all the stuff that you think about first. But the really what you should be thinking is, how the hell do I get more? Because if I do, t you got it. It's always more. It's always, always, always Thank more, you. man. It's always Thank more. You. Thank and, you so and, much. And it's always more. You said the government, the government can't work without us. So we have to, you can't beat them. You got to join them. Right. You right. got to take advantage of them as they're going to take advantage of you. And the, and the thing is, you get structure, you get you get access to things that you'll never have access to, no matter how good your job is. You're working for certain entities and certain branches of whatever, man. You know, that's where you don't ever have to go and, and market anything. Exactly. You know, so it's, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. It's, 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 it's a rabbit hole out here. Like people oh, don't even man. realize, man. Man, so, so much untapped potential, man, for people like me and you. But you oh, know, we, like you said, you know, they're gonna be just looking at us like, damn, and then we just like we're giving out all the game, and you're not following, you're not, you're not with us. It's all good. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is, what, it is. what can we it do? It is what it is. You, you know, in 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 as as far as on the investing side, if um if you or anybody else would a take interest into like when this is all over to say hey look i need to be on this side i need to be having some extra cash on deck even if i'm not knowledgeable of the flipping process or the whole investing thing i'm putting together a real estate group a real estate investing group where i got like my guy in atlanta who I, that's why i make most of my money he, he, he's uh he's really active down there so i'm trying to connect him with the houses that he has with all my investor friends so that we can build and start putting our money together and even if it's like, yo, you putting up 10K and you like, yo, I'm gonna give back 10K, but you sitting there and you're like, you know what? I, I'm not doing anything. I'm just giving the right. funds there to get the oh, project right. done. Like that's, oh, yeah. that's the way it's gotta work because oh, yeah, yeah, if, of course. if the government if the, if the government shuts down the banks, you have to be able to do stuff with cash. Like exactly. you said, you gotta be able to do cash. And if you don't have cash on your own, you gotta have a team. Right. So, exactly. so if, exactly. if, if anybody's looking on that opportunity to, to find solid houses and, and flip and make good money, um, and whether that's just investing a couple thousand and getting a couple thousand back or just being knowledgeable in the rooms and the meetings, um, we're going to be kicking that up probably the next couple of days, man, because I, I think, so I'm not lending right now. I, I'm not lending at all right now um, because everything that's happening, but I think it's yeah, going to, me too, me too. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know how, you know, it's jammed up. So yeah, I think after yeah, yeah, this yeah. week, I think after this week, I'm going to start having like, you know, weekly calls, weekly, uh, just text group chats and, and stuff like that to keep rolling because it's, 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 if it wasn't a scary, if this wasn't like a fear factor um, for me or anybody else, then I think after this, you'll start to realize like, hey, look, It's real, it's real, yeah, super real, real. super real yeah. out here. And yeah. you know, that's such a great point again. You know, it's, it, that's what it's about. And that's what the other, uh, you know, races and people is doing. They were been doing that already. They get together, they, they form a conglomerate, 
They form yeah. these real estate funds and they yeah. go out and buy. That's it. Yeah. That's all they doing. But yeah. when it comes to us, and we already know, we talked about this a few times, you know, as yeah. a people. But when it comes to us, we like, ah, I don't know. We're like, because we, we could talk to talk, walk the walk. Yeah. And when it's time to really form together, like, ah, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't really, I don't want to put the money for this house. I don't want to put the money for this uh, business. Well, I got to do this. I don't really know. It's a lot of excuses. Meanwhile, yeah. it's a lot of excuses. But meanwhile, you got these other people buying buildings, buying uh, businesses. You can say it's Jewish. And, you can say it. You can say <laughs> Jewish, Asian, and they all uh-huh. in our community. They in our communities. They in our community. They are taking money out of us. Yeah. We black. We 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 black. Uh, we we um, we black. Uh, uh, uh situated, but we are not black owned. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's so it's like, to be put. what can what, yeah. what 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 can we you know? But I mean, I, I do I do understand and I do see that there is a surge of people like us coming together and buying yeah. and and forming ideas together i do i do see that you know there's a big surge of you know young people like us too yeah. but but it, it it really still lacks in comparison though yeah. to these other people that's been doing this for 20 years 30 yeah. 40 50 they got whole communities together they got yeah. they got Firefight, um, fire yeah. companies, they, they got communities. film police, they got, yeah. I mean, yeah. but this, this is stuff that we should, and, and you know, and, and, and if you want to talk about historically, in this country, we did have a lot of this we stuff, did. we did have the Black Wall Street, we did, we did. have we the had Central Village, of, yeah, we, we had a, we had a, exactly, Woo! Yeah. we yeah. had the Central Village, we had a lot yeah. of stuff, yeah. and, and because of who we are, and because of how powerful we are, a lot of those were stopped. A lot of those was 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 infiltrated. A lot of those was a lot of that was destroyed. So I understand that, but I, I you know, it, it really comes into the the psychological part where it's like we've been so beat down and so beat up. It's like we don't really kind of hate each other at this point. We don't really want to form together um, as much as before. And I understand that. I understand that, but it's time to get back to that though. It's time we to get back to, to that. I, I think we have to. I, I think, you know, as as a people, we have taken some shots. You know, we have been uh, pretty much broken down to to in a lot of different ways. But I think that's not an excuse anymore because because we know what's up. Like we know what's up. At the end at the end of the day, we we get hit if it's not physically hurting us, if it's not emotionally trying to put us down. We have distractions from our own people too. That's why I really don't. I guess a lot of things I kind of like try to stay away from that kind of like clog my mind a little bit like a lot of the stuff on instagram like a lot of music stuff like a lot of like i like to have fun i like to do those things Talk about you it. Talk about it. Talk about you're conditioning it. your mind you're conditioning your mind to think a certain way and, and if you're really trying to do this business thing like you got to put the you got to put all that stuff aside for like a couple of years like if it's a year or two come together put your pride aside put some money up because because you know it was crazy your trucking business let's say if you had Let's say if you had like 10 friends and, and 10 of your friends put up two G's, bro. <laughs> you know, you got, you can, I'm pretty sure you can start, you can start something. You know what I'm saying? You can start something, but you, but you know what it is, bro. You, you as a, as a, as a, as a businessman, you gotta, you gotta keep fighting and finding the right people to put in your corner. That's, that's, that's the thing. It starts with people like you and I, but definitely people right. like you who your, your gift is to bring people together. You that's that's what that's what you that's what's gonna rely on you. It's gonna come down to you getting curved by a lot of people preaching and sounding like you 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 getting on people's nerves, but it's gonna come down to people like you. <laughs> exactly. It's gonna come down to people like you, real talk. Exactly, exactly. And you just touched on it again, you see? And that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I did. In, in, in a few businesses, like when I had my clothing line, when I was selling hair, before mm-hmm. I did like oh, any of these Hustling. things, I'll yeah, you know, but 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 before I did any before I, I started any of these things, I asked people like, yo, let's come together, yeah. let's do this, let's do yeah. that. And people yeah. give me the cold shoulder or they act yeah. like, yeah, I don't know, or like they don't hear you. They don't to, hear you. You know, yeah, they don't hear me out. But you know yeah. what I'm saying? But when I when they work their nine to five and then they come back and they complain like, Oh man, you know, I you know, it's life is hard. Well, I mean, nah, we could have did this. Now nah, they want to you know what I'm saying, but it's all it is what it is. It That's is what it is. That's the, that's, the that's, the, that's the game, but you, but you know what it is, it's, it's, um, it's not, you rather have somebody flake on you than somebody be like, yo, I'm all in, and now you asked out with some money that you done put yes. out, or like you done put the effort and energy out, that's and true. um, it's just, it, it, it has to happen that way, man, it has yeah. to happen, like, but, but, but you, you can't, you can't, you gotta keep going, bro, yeah, you gotta keep true. going, that's I true. think, true. For, I think, 
one of the um for me one of the frustrating parts about what it is that I do is that well what it was one of the frustrating things I didn't have any black clients I didn't have many black clients so my, my first deal that I, I I engaged on and closed was a guy one of my old teammates up in Maine white guy cool dude you know what I'm saying cool dude we didn't even meet in person do any of the transactions he was in Maine I was in the city and you know it was my first deal. It was exciting. It was like, it was cool, but I was realizing that my conversations was just different. You know, like I look at me, I got on a do-rag, I got on a hoodie, I got on an army yeah. fatigue. Like, like that's who, yeah. that's who, you know, that's, that's who I am. That's you know, that's, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you, know what I mean? that's, you know, and so, and so I was, I was starting to not really like the fact that I was, I felt like I couldn't right. connect and be myself. Yep. Um, exactly. So, so that, that, that's the thing I had, I had to keep going. I had to keep pushing to those black investors and like, yeah. Hey, look, take a chance with me. Like, I got you. Like, I noticed that. And it started to happen, but I'm not going to lie. I was in that space where I was just kind of felt like, damn, like, maybe I won't ever get to work with somebody that looks like me. Maybe they don't exist. I was doubting a lot right, of shit. Right, right, I right, really right, was. Exactly, I really was. Exactly, you know? exactly. But yeah, no, you got that's true. It. Yeah, bro. But it's just it's all about just pushing forward, bro. And you got you to gotta have fun. You got to be comfortable. And, um, and yeah, man, it's... it's I don't know. It's a good time to, to lock in on anything that it is that you're doing. And again, the NMLS people, please, please do not sleep on the NMLS license. Trust me, trust me. It will be the new surge of millionaires will be mortgage originators. I'm not saying it'll be the only, but they're definitely a lane for you. There's definitely a lane. So NMLS, I can't stress that enough. I can't. I can't. Well, you know what? This is this is what we're gonna do. Well, first of all, man, like, listen, this 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 is a groundbreaking interview. Like, when it, when this come out, like, you know, and and you know how people are, man. You know, yeah. they're not gonna get it at first. You know, it might take months or years, man. But when this right. come out and people see what we saying, they like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah they, oh, yeah, like, they, they, they talking about, oh, uh, like, yeah. you know what? For the for the people, this is what you're gonna do. Whatever links you wanna give me in terms of people that wanna um get the NMLS. Uh, okay. uh, uh, they want to start off with that. I want you to, uh, when you talk about the government and the federal uh, backing and the security and the security of the loans and everything like that, that link that you said you was going to send me, um, yes. you know, I, I put everything and you, and for people that want to contact my main man Jamari, man, uh, you could put, you know, you could contact him on Instagram, your email, anything like that. If you want to get started, all my clients I already work with, all my people looking at my channel, and just anybody in general, you want to get started in real estate investing. You need some financing, of course, because nobody's buying a house with 400000 in gas. <laughs> Holla at my man, Jamari. For put, sure. your, put, your, put your situation into this man's hands because obviously throughout this whole interview, he shows you why you should do business with him, not only in real estate, but in general. So he's gonna, I'm, I'm going to put all my contact information below. Um, I mean, all his contact information below. Any links you want to send me, you want to get started, um, and, and that's going to be that. But besides that, man, Man, my God, man. I mean, I really appreciate everything you said. I really no doubt. It, man. No doubt, bro. Thank you for, for being uh for using your gift to to you know enlighten it and bring some light into the yeah. into everybody's situation, bro. It's, it's definitely much, much, much appreciated and is needed. So yeah, it's just all thanks thanks to you, bro. It's all my, it's my pleasure, man. It's my pleasure. No, Hopefully we, we can really <laughs> connect some dots for some people. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. and I would love to do it again, man, anytime, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we definitely gonna bring you on again. And that that's 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 already a given. But second of all, you just reminding me again that investment group. Yeah. If you want if you yes. want to put that out there for the people as well, I can put that in link for, so anybody can join. But send that to me anyway, because you know I'm I'm, you. I'm on that already. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna talk you. about that. And uh, any other link that you wanna um you know put down in the description for the people to join and contact you, like I said, it's gonna be below. And man, that's the episode right there. That's episode three. But uh, besides that, do you have anything else to say to the people, man? Um, I just want to just let people know just to stay positive, man. Stay, stay positive. Use your affirmations. Use your, um, you know, your daily zen, whatever it is that you need to do to know that this shit is all temporary. Don't lose sight of what makes you happy. If that's your grind, if that's your work, if that's your hustle, don't lose sight of that, man. Don't lose sight of it. That's, that's all I got to say, bro. I just want people to just... Come, come through the storm, no matter how long it ends, come through the storm with a better person in some way. Man, man. So. and that's one of the most important things. Weather the storm, practice your, 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 your prayer, 
you know, for continue sure. to stay grateful and thankful, man. Do your little Tai Chi and everything like that. Sure. Stay sane <laughs> in sure. those times. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the most important thing, I guess, out of everything, man. So, man, for sure. that's the end of the episode, man. It's your boy, everything about John. My boy, Jari, thank you again. And, no man, doubt, like bro. I said, we're going to bring him on. Uh, you know, a lot, you know, we, we this is this is not, listen, you better get familiar with that face, man. Yeah. And trust me. Trust me. You see me in a, in a, in a little ghost outfit right now. You should <laughs> see my man in the suit. Man. He killing the suit game right now. You're going to see in the thumbnail, though. You're going to see. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. What's, what's the suit? What's my, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't, don't let my tie for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you're going to see. Nah, listen, and, listen. <laughs> and that's another thing. The quarantine, I got the quarantine haircut. But, um. but, but he, yeah, but, but, but people see what you're saying. Yeah. And, and that's what it is. It's not about, you see, and that's where you get caught up so much as a people, man. And it's yeah. not about how I look. It's about listen to the message, man. Yeah, it's the message. My man got on a do-rag and everything, and he's speaking billion-dollar yeah. thoughts, man. Yeah. Not million-dollar thoughts, man. Billion. Yeah. And with the government, trillion. Yeah. Come on, man. Real Come talk, on, bro. Man. Real talk. Okay. Real talk. So, man, that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to end it off at that, man. And like I said, it's your boy, everything about John. Peace. Yes, sir. Now, that was a dog.